You may have clicked this video because you're tired of the dating scene and want to try being single, or you're fresh out of a relationship and don't want back into the dating pool just yet. No matter the reason, we are here to reassure you that being single is okay and can be essential for developing better, healthier future relationships. Here are six ways being single can affect you mentally and emotionally. Embracing single solidarity. In 2023, the Pew Research Center assessed that 30% of the American adult population identified as single, whether voluntarily or involuntarily. Sometimes being single is a choice, other times it is out of our control. What is within our control is our perspective. You decide how you view being single. You can embrace the freedom that comes with singlehood or see it as some kind of cosmic curse. The choice is ultimately up to you. Social psychologist Teresa E. DiDonato argues singlehood removes the pressures that are often tied with romantic relationships, allowing people to live and strive for improvement without as many constraints. This isn't to say love is meant to weigh us down. Instead, it refers to the fact that romance isn't for everyone. Not everyone requires a romantic partner to feel whole, and that solidarity can be liberating. Savoring solitude. How do you approach solitude? Do you welcome it or avoid it as much as possible? No matter how you spend your solitude, it is important to acknowledge the emotions it brings out in you. Isolation can bring unpleasant thoughts and feelings to the surface, yet it can also be a time for self-reflection and productivity. Frankly, whether it's scary or self-enriching ultimately depends on how you see it. For example, Bella de Polo argues people who are single at heart are far more likely to savor their solitude than people who are not. DePolo says this is important because people who are comfortable with solitude are less likely to feel lonely than those who view time alone with trepidation. Those who are single are more likely to use their solitude constructively because they don't have the fear of being alone. Getting to know yourself. Being single can come with many perks, one of which happens to be time. Without the constraints of a romantic partner, you have the time to get to know yourself and pinpoint what you want from life by exploring your potential career paths, personal growth, and relationship goals. Use the time to mingle with different types of people. Slowly, you may figure out the type of person you can envision sharing your life with. It might not be a soulmate, but a best friend for life, and that's okay. There are no strict rules dictating who you spend your life with. You can plan for an eventual partner or stay single as a Pringle. What you do and who you spend your time with is your choice. Developing a more mature understanding of love. American clergyman Henry Ward Beecher once said, Young love is a flame, very pretty, often very hot and fierce, but still only light and flickering. The love of the older and disciplined heart is as coals, deep burning, unquenchable. But what does that even mean? We are all familiar with stories of young love. Some end happily ever after, while others end up messy. Emotions run high when you're in love, and you can easily get swept up in the whirlwind of romance. You may see your high school sweetheart or your college crush as your ride or die, and refuse to look at anyone else, even yourself. Years can go by, and as time passes, you and your partner can change for better or for worse. That is why it is essential to spend time with yourself to decide on what you want before committing to a partnership. Time on your own can broaden your horizons and help you mature your understanding of love. Building Emotional Resilience Everyone needs to leave the nest and develop a sense of independence at some point. After all, it is necessary for personal growth and self-sufficiency and can determine one's life path. For instance, if you've never been alone, you may learn to practice solitude avoidance or end up with someone who isn't healthy for your emotional or physical well-being, but you're with them just because you fear being alone. This is where codependency can take root in a relationship. Yes, developing emotional resilience and being independent of your partner can be difficult, but not impossible. It requires time, practice, and most importantly, self-acceptance and self-love. Ask yourself, why are you considering a relationship? Is it because you love this person or do you just want someone to care for you? Let us be clear, you don't need to find your better half because your partner is not meant to be better than you. Instead, they are meant to be your equal, someone who's meant to share your life story, not rewrite it. Acknowledging the stigma and getting past it. Lastly, let's discuss how singlehood can negatively affect you. 
For starters, do you ever avoid telling people you're single? Despite 30% of the American adult population identifying as single, a good portion of the overall population suffers from autophobia, the fear of being alone, abandoned, or ignored. They experience intense anxiety and distress at the thought of being single, and this fear can lead them down some dark paths. It fuels singleism, the pre-existing stigma associated with singlehood, and can lead some to settle for less than satisfactory and potentially dangerous partners. Psychotherapist Anna Jackson states, People can end up defining themselves and their self-worth by their romantic relationships and end up settling for less out of fear of being single. This mindset can lead them to be susceptible to manipulation and even abuse. But you do not need a partner to be complete, especially if said partner hurts you or puts you down. If you are or were in a harmful relationship because you're afraid to be alone, please remember that being single is a perfectly acceptable alternative. There is no shame in being single. There's genuinely nothing more lonely than being with the wrong person. Overall, it is okay to crave connection and love, but it is also essential to be mindful of why you desire such things. As humans, we crave love and affection, similar to certain foods and sleep, but learning to be comfortable on your own is vital. This helps you become self-sufficient, teaches you how to love yourself, and helps you find the right future partner. If you want more tips on being self-sufficient and single, check out our compilation video. Being single can be a good thing for you. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. Until next time, remember to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date on our latest videos. Take care and remember that you matter.